Good morning Year 2 and welcome to our maths meeting session. Today we are going to be partitioning our numbers into tens and ones using the pop dot whole model that you might have seen before. Okay so we are going to be following the steps to success which are in the corner and we are going to partition this number. So you probably recognise this as the part part whole model that you previous, previously have done in class. Okay, so I have the number 32. So my success criteria first tells me to read the whole. The whole is 32. Okay, now I need to identify the ones. Okay, in order to help me, I like to write tens and ones on the number. I know my ones are on the left hand side and I know I've got my tens next to my ones. This usually gives me, this usually helps me as well. So, identify the ones. I know I have two ones, so I'm just going to write over here. And I've got three tens, which make 30. Three tens, which are 30. Now, what I'm going to do is put my number together. So, I'm going to put my tens, which is 30, add... 30 add 2 gives me the whole which is brilliant 30 2 okay so now children for the we we are going to use our whiteboards and pens pause this video and I'll collect yourself a whiteboard and pen if you don't have one fantastic let's get started so the first step in my steps to success is to read the whole number. Now I want you to shout at the screen what the whole number is. Brilliant, I could hear lots of you shouting at 45. Fantastic. Now I want you on your whiteboard to write the ones. So now you're going to identify the ones. Great, so one, two, show me. Fantastic, I can see lots of you have written five for your ones. Okay, now I want you to tell me how many tens are there in 45? Write your answer down on your whiteboard. Great, so one, two, show me. I can see lots of you writing 40, which is fantastic. That is the correct answer. So I know four tens make 40. Okay, now the last thing we're going to do is put our number together. So on your whiteboard, put the number together. One, two, show me. Fantastic, again, I can see you have written 40. And 5 equals 45. Well done. Right, now it's your turn. I want you to partition the number 76. Fantastic. I can see lots of you have finished already. So we know there are, first of all, the whole number is 76. Fantastic. There are six ones. There are seven tens which make 70. Now I'm going to put this number together. 70 add 6 which equals 76. Fantastic. Well done. Right now it is your chance and it is your turn to complete this worksheet in your pack okay so you've got your pack complete this worksheet in your pack have a go now pause the video so now children we are going to go through our answers make sure you have a green pen or you can just simply mark with a pencil so number one we have the number 41 yet yeah, four tenths make 40 and then we have 1, 1. Then I've got 40 add 1. 
Number two, I know there are six ones. Five tenths make fifty. And I put fifty and six together, which makes fifty-six. Then I've got the number twenty-three. I have three ones, two tens, which make twenty. Twenty add three equals twenty-three. Then finally, I thought this one's a little bit tricky. We have zero ones. There's nothing in the ones column. And then I have five tens, which make fifty. And then fifty add zero equals fifty. Fantastic, children. Most of you have got this correct. Super. Right. So now I have a small challenge for you. I want you to complete the challenge, and we will mark the challenge in our next slide. Take a look at our challenge, okay? Our challenge answers. So I've got the number 33. I know I've got three tens which make 30. The answer was there. And the missing box definitely is three ones. Fantastic. I can see you've got that right. Then I've got the number 57 and the missing box. Yes, the seven ones were missing. Then I've got the number 14 and the missing box. Yes, was the 10. And then we had the number 60, 6 tens make 60, and then we've got the 7 ones, and the whole is brilliant, 67. It was a little bit tricky, but I know you know your tens and your ones, and you were able to solve this, okay? Now make sure you post your work onto Seesaw, you're doing a fantastic job, keep it up.